everyone my name is Eliza Ayala and Kalai your future psychologist for today's video I will explain about domestic violence since yun yung napili kong topic first I will explain the meaning of domestic violence allow me to read my note domestic violence is violence committed by someone in victims in victims domestic circle domestic circle this includes partners and ex-partners, immediate family members, other relatives, and family friends. The term domestic violence is used when there is a close relationship between the offender and the victim. Karamihan naman na nakakagawa sa atin ng ganito is friends, family, or may connection tayo sa taong yun. Hindi man lang hindi lang tayo nasasaktan sa mentally, physically, emotionally, but all and all. This may involve changing peer group and parent norms providing non-violent and positive means to achieve desired goals such as status and money. Ito naman yung unang rason kung bakit nagkakaganito ang mga kabataan at ibang tao to achieve desired goals such as status and money minsan dahil sa kahirapan or hindi ma-provide ng parents ang, ang kanilang mga pangaka, pangaka, pangakailangan in training parents and other socialization agents to reward cooperative and prosocial pro behaviors under some conditions punishment can also reduce aggravation I will give the five causes of violence, the influence of one of yours, mga influensya ng kaibigan. Kung nilasan nila yung pag-iisip mo, malalasan talaga kung papayag ka. Second, having a lack of attention or respect. Kailangan mo din yung attention ng ibang tao at respeto nila kaya ng pagre-respeto mo sa kanila. Having low self-worth, pagmamaliit sa sarili. Fourth, experiencing abuse or neglect. Yung nararanasan mo yung pang-aabuso. Fifth, witnessing violence in the home, community, or midges. Yung nakita mo, yung, nakita mo na mismo yung mga iba't ibang klaseng pang-aabuso sa bahay, sa lipunan, at sa social medias. Six, access to weapons. Yung naranasan mo ng nakahawak, ang pwedeng pamatay sa ibang tao like baril or kuchili. Lastly, I will give some tips on how to prevent or avoid violence. First, stay in well-lightened. Second, busy areas. Third, travel with a friend if possible. Walk in a confident, assured way. Avoid known travel spots para hindi tayo masundan kasi Madami tayong hindi kakilala doon. Report crimes and suspicious activities to police kung may mga nangyayaring hindi na masama. Lastly, agree to testify when necessary. Dapat anis tayo mag-testify sa anumang pangyayari, no matter what. Thank you for watching and God bless everyone.